Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, market outlook time. Let's take a look at the market this week, talk about what content's going to be coming in foot, and also talk about things we can see with the market, market movements, talk about maybe the guaranteed uh, Bundesliga SBC, talk about these Bundesliga TOTS cards, maybe some investments we can make, when to buy, and start to talk about stuff that we can do this week, talk about upgrade packs, which are coming today as well. I mean, Monday... Monday and Thursday are the big days midweek on FIFA. Thursday is obviously the biggest day with the rewards, with playing weekend league, getting the red picks with these team of the season cards, and of course, uh, people that are getting um, the elite packs and all the way through top 100 packs. Big day on Thursday, right? But today on Monday is like the second biggest day of the week because we get upgrade packs, the rare gold upgrade packs with like the guaranteed cards in the league either again if they're going to do the four rare players from the bundesliga or the 82 plus um nothing has been added to the code yet as i'm recording this video but i'm recording a little early so what i would say is uh follow of course the footwatch account on twitter they always tweet stuff out i believe last week um on this night they tweeted out the double 82 plus la liga um pack I believe seven days ago, I think. Let me try to find this really quick, boys. Yeah, right here, man. Last week on Sunday night or early Monday morning, they tweeted this out. It was actually early Monday morning my time, midday UK. They tweeted out the double 82 plus La Liga. So if we see something in the code like this in Footwatch um, for the Bundesliga, whether it's the four rare gold packs like we had from the Prem or if it's the 82 plus, which I really hope it's the 82 plus because these were really OP last week. If you guys see my team of the season counter, it's at 33, man. It's also off center right now. Let's fix that really quick. Um, the Tots counter is at like 33, which is pretty wild, bro, because uh, I think after Prem, I ended with like 18 and I'm all the way up to 33. So La Liga was, was freaking sick and I want to upgrade this number even more. So I would expect more upgrade SBCs today. Hopefully they give us the 81 plus and I hope they give us like the 82 plus from the Bundesliga, double guaranteed. That combination from last week was dope. Uh, because today we are also getting the Liga Nos, Liga Nos, Portuguese League team of the season, right? We have guys like Tellez. I think Tellez is one of the biggest headliners from this. Uh, a lot of people have asked me about headliner Tellez, a very popular card. You know, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of this guy's headliner. He's probably getting a team of the season. He had a great year, uh, scored a lot of goals for Porto and played very, very well for them. Is this headliner tell us going to go down? I think it is. So if you have the headliner tell us in your team, uh, one of the best left backs in the game, by the way, I think you want to cash out because I think the tots card is probably going to be somewhere around like a 200,000 coin, maybe 250, depending on the boost. Uh, so I do think that would make this card drop a little bit. Just saying maybe this guy goes down to like 100K. So just something to think about if you have that, uh, the headliner version of Telus, but Liga Nos is today for team of the season. I want to look at last year's squad just for a quick second and talk through it. Of course, a lot of the guys that are in here from last year are no longer in the Liga Nos. Bruno Fernandez, Jao Felix, Edward Militao, but of course Acuna could get in this year and Alex Telles are kind of the headliners from last year that maybe could get in this year as well. I don't know about Acuna, um, but I mean, Liga Nos, I mean, the second secondary leagues for team of the season, we've had EFL, we have had the Saudi League, and we have now had Super League, which to me are kind of lower tier. We're, we haven't had Eredivisie, and Liga Nos comes today. Those are two of the more higher tier of the lower level leagues, I guess, if you want to put it that way. So I'm kind of excited for the Telez that's going to come out today. Hopefully he gets one. Hopefully they juice him. He's had some really crazy team of the season cards in the past, so I'm really excited to see what that card looks like today. Um, but that is the team of the season that we should be seeing today in foot. And that's why I'm hoping for like the 81 plus upgrades again, because last week uh, you were able to pack the secondary league tots from those upgrades. And I would really like a chance at packing Tellez again this week. So that's why I want to get that SBC out in the game again. If, if that came, that would be dope. So hopefully that comes this week. Again, today on Monday, what else do I expect? I think last week on Monday as well is when they upgraded uh, the, the league SBC players. Uh, so for last week, we got, of course, the La Liga upgrade, which was the Avila. Where is this SBC at? Right here it is. Uh, we got the Avila card from the La Liga Santander. It's not showing me the reward details for whatever reason right now. Uh, that's really weird. 
But we got the Avila card from La Liga. This week, um, it's going to be upgraded as well. And people thought it might have been Coutinho. But I'm curious to see who that is actually going to be. Because we got the Coutinho SBC on Sunday. Um, a little bit overpriced in my opinion. Especially for the stats. But uh, a fun card. And I'm definitely going to craft it because he looks really fun. And I do want to give him a shot. Do want to try him out. And with all the upgrade packs I will be doing this week, he will be very craftable for me. So, you know, if this card was on the market, how much would he be? Probably somewhere in like the 550 to 650 range, in my opinion, maybe 700K. So I feel like the SBC is priced accurately for what he would be on the market. But usually if you're turning your cards in for an untradeable, you would like to see the SBC being cheaper than the market value. So if this was more like 400K, I think more people would be interested. Um, but it's around 550, 560, almost 600K at the moment. So it's a bit expensive, but definitely craftable this week. So again, today, probably a league SBC player um, refresh and then upgrade packs. And with the upgrade packs, again, we just have to kind of monitor these rare golds from the Bundesliga. And I've started to tell a lot of you guys, I'm really feeling strongly about this. Since these guys are really starting to reach 2,000 coins a pop um, for a lot of these um, rare golds. They've dropped a little bit right now, you know, like 100 coins. This Rashika had one page at 1.9k uh, because right now I'm recording right after Squad Battle Rewards has dropped and uh, there's a lot of supply coming out of the market for these. So what I would say is uh, if you see these guys at 2k again this morning on Monday, um, seriously consider selling if you've got some of these cards uh, in the lower like 1.1k 1 to 1.3k range. If you bought them there, I would highly consider selling just taking the coins, taking the safe route and no looking back and just going with it with that. I would highly consider that because I think those rare golds are overinflated, overinvested and too high in price in my opinion. Uh, some last minute investments you guys could make as well on the super league tots. You're like, yo, why would you want to buy a super league tots? Because, um, of the hype these guys actually have. I mean, these guys, this is the best Brazilian right back in the game. And if we get Tellez, we've just gotten, um, think about it. We've just gotten a, a flashback Militao, a Diego Carlos. And if we're getting a Tellez, there's a lot of Brazilian hype and we just got a Coutinho, right? A lot of Brazilian squad building possibilities. This is the best Brazilian right back in the game. He's not an amazing card, um, but is the best one. And he's 50K. 50K for the best Brazilian right back. I feel like this guy could be 65K in a week pretty easy out of packs. So I'm a huge fan of Mariano at like 50K, 47 on Xbox if you can. Uh, Krusa as well as a German card that will link to a lot of other um, Bundesliga Tots cards. That guy at, you know, 75K, low 70s is a steal. Visca is a great super sub for a lot of people uh, in low 70s for that card. I'm a fan as well. These guys go out of packs though at 6 p.m. So if you have still some low prices or maybe some open bids from squad battle rewards, um, I would definitely maybe take a look at those um, as soon as you can. But going on to the Bundesliga cards, it is weekend league sell off prime time. We're seeing low prices and these are the kind of prices that we can start to get familiar with for a lot of these cards as we enter into the midweek where we see a lot of these guys get low and when we start to think about buying these, we need to start looking at the out of packs Bundesliga cards as well. Scrolling through some of these specials, right? Uh, one person that jumps out of my mind right away is Da Costa. I clicked on the wrong squad. Is Da Costa. Foot birthday, Da Costa is somebody I'm interested in this week. Start to formulate who you think is going to be a good out of packs investment based on the hype cards that are in this squad and based on where you think people are going to need to make links, right? Strikers, there's a lot of high level strikers in here. There's not a lot of low level ones, right? Let's say somebody packs uh, like a Muller or they want to try out Muller and, um, you know, maybe somebody on a lower budget wants to try out Muller and Nabry, you know, that's 700K and they only have like 300K to mess around with for the rest of the team or for maybe a striker. You know, maybe you find a Bundesliga striker like a Timo Werner lower level card, like his headliner, that's maybe like 250,000 coins or 280. And that could be a good investment this week. So just start to poke around, look at the market. I don't think you want to buy any of the out of packs Bundesliga cards yet. And here's why. I would rather the card, let's say I want to buy for an out of packs investment. Wow, Halan is low, but that makes sense because um, the Tots Halan is dropping even further. Let's look at a Bundesliga out of packs card that I'm actually interested in in this week. I already looked at DaCosta. 
Uh, headliner Lewandowski, 579,000 coins. This is the next best card to his team this season, which is 2.8 mil. That's a 2 million coin price gap. This guy's definitely going to rise. Anyways, um, let's say this is a card that you're interested in, right? I would not buy this card yet because there's a possibility that a player SBC coming out later this week could affect the position uh, in the Bundesliga, right? Let's say like I like Nico Schultz as a winter refresh left back and I like this Lewandowski card. If they would drop a David Alaba, the SBC player upgrade, that would hurt a lot of the left backs. And that is a hype Bundesliga Bayern Munich player that would probably hurt a lot of the left backs in this game and would maybe um, hurt the rise on an investment like a Nico Schultz or a, what's another left back in the Bundesliga? Uh, Vendel, uh, the Brazilian guy for Leverkusen. I would wait until we see who that league upgrade player is. And then if we if we don't see any other player SBCs by like Tuesday night into Wednesday, that's when we're seriously going to start looking at these Bundesliga special cards. So the longer you wait, I think there's more potential for a little bit more of panic and people losing coins from whatever's going to happen today with the league upgrades and stuff like that. So for your out of packs Bundesliga specials, I am going to advise to wait on those again until maybe Monday night, Tuesday night, even Wednesday, because I do think the guaranteed SPC will come out on Wednesday again, as has it has done the past two weeks with La Liga and with the Prem. That's how I'm feeling with those. So yeah, just again, this is a great time to look around, find some cards that you think are going to be nice out of pack Bundesliga special risers. And again, I want to stress Bundesliga is like 99% of the way you want to go this week. If you want to try some other like Prem or maybe even La Liga cards, maybe some people are still linking La Liga after last week. You can maybe try that as we get later on in the week, but I'm serious. Look at how some of these non hype leagues, like the Premier League was hyped two weeks ago, right? This Lucas card was 400K. 400k the the weekend after Premier League Tots came out and now my dude is 200k flat he's literally halved in price because there's just no more hype for this type of card and there's more hype for maybe a guy like Road to the Final Kings League Coman uh because he's going to be able to get links to the new Tots cards that are coming out this week so start to plan again right backs left backs left mids right mids and then like budget strikers are some of my favorites for the Bundesliga so far, just because that's where there's lacking positions, I guess, in the league and uh, lack of open spots, I guess, is what you could say um, with the new special cards. So just kind of, you know, start to, to look at some stuff on the market and we'll talk more specifically about what cards I am more of a fan of later this week. Again, like Emerson last week was a big one for me. I'm going to pick up this Kings of Comont for 109. Uh, wow, I almost have 9 million coins exactly. That's a GG. So I'm picking that card up right now because um, that's a card that just has gotten really low. And he was like 125, 130 this weekend. And there's only like 5K, 6K tax there. So I'm just going to pick that one up for now. You can kind of nibble if you want to at some of those. But um, for most of those cards, I would honestly just say wait. And if you want to buy any of these team of the season cards, I'm going to say wait as well. Halan, dude. I cannot believe this guy is almost a million coins. That's crazy. Burner is 1-3. Uh, Lewandowski hasn't really dropped that much, but these guys are going to stay low throughout the week this week. Upgrade packs again are coming today, and that's going to be a big, big, big time thing on the market with a lot of people looking to, you know, buy those cards and to, um, or buy those packs. And a lot of the rare gold investing is going to be something we look at today as well. And I want to look at SBC fodder because SBC fodder is inflated today after Coutinho. And I want to talk about why 84s and 85s, even 83s, are the highest. Think about this. All of the SBCs that we have gotten lately, right? Like, let's go look at Coutinho. Let's look at our active challenges in foot. What are the SBCs we've gotten lately? Philip Coutinho requires 85, 86, 86, and 87 rated squads. Um, Axel Witzel requires 84 and 85 squads. Madison, I think, is like 84, 85. And then Militao was like 86, 86, 88. So he was a bit higher rated. But a lot of the cards we've gotten in the last week have been mostly requiring 84, 85, or 86 rated squads. And since a lot of people have higher rated fodder or tots cards in their clubs right now, that is lessening the amount of higher rated SBC fodder. People are having to go out and buy because they already have the untradeable like objective cards or they've 
packed a, a player from the guaranteed tots pack that was not good. So instead of having to go out, out and buy 88s, 89s, they're just going out and having to buy more of like 84s, 85s because they already have a 90 rated player in the club to do an 86 rated SBC. And that makes the SBC a lot easier. So that's why you're seeing 84s, 85s, and even 83s increased so much in value uh, this week. A lot more than like the 87s, 88s, and 89s and 90s, in my opinion. So um, I still think that you're going to see those cards drop a little bit into the week unless we get more SBCs. I would expect a little bit of dropping maybe on the high tier fodder unless we get like a big time SBC like a player moments um, from the Bundesliga, then I think you could see, you know, the 87s through 90s rise a bit. But if you want to club stock those, feel free, go ahead, um, especially with all the prime icon stuff that could be happening this week. That's the only worry I have for more panic happening later this week. Um, with the whole icon situation, again, right now it's only rumors. We have nothing in set in stone. We know nothing from EA. So we'll just wait and see if anything with that comes. But if we don't hear anything about like Tuesday, Wednesday, then I think we have a green light to go in on the Bundesliga out of pack specials. Um, and then for the guaranteed Bundesliga TOTS SBC, I want to just mention that quickly. I think it's going to be 86 rated. Really think it's 86 rated. I think EA will be a bit nicer this week. I feel like it's going to be an 86 rated squad because that just makes sense. That just makes sense with this team, how much it's worth, how much the players are worth, the value. I mean, we have some top tier cards. We had a top tier card in last week with Messi. But this week, we have a lot more lower tier, I feel like. A lot more cards under 100,000 coins. So, I think it's a possibility this week that is 86 rated, which would be a very welcomed uh, price for a lot of people in this game. Because I think that'd be pretty cheap for a lot of people. And a lot of people would look forward to that. But, that's the market outlook for this week, boys. Honestly, uh, we're going to talk more specific about investments that you guys can make early, uh, later this week. Um, today, again, is a big day. With Liga Nos coming, you know, you can see here, I picked up a Visca, two Cruces, and I think I have 10 Marianos. So that's where I'm sitting at right now with my investments. Um, I'm pretty liquid other than that. I'm going to save a lot of my liquidity for later this week with Bundesliga specials. I'm probably going to end up putting six to seven million coins in those. And then, you know, maybe two million into upgrade packs throughout this entire week for Bundesliga. So there's going to be a lot of packs open. You're going to see this number down below me. I would like to see that get into the 40s. Maybe even crack 50 this week. That'd be pretty dope. So upgrade packs today, big time, big stuff. I'm really curious to see what EA does for the rest of the SBC content this week. Um, and that might affect a little bit of our investing. We'll see what happens, of course. I do expect a player moments SBC because we haven't had a player moments SBC yet for the Bundesliga. We've had a TOTS, we've had a flashback and a player moments, but I'm talking like uh, not a TOTS player moments. I'm talking a like this player moments one for a Bundesliga card. So we'll see what happens this week in FIFA Ultimate Team with Bundesliga Team of the Season. But again, that's kind of the market outlook, boys. Seriously. I mean, Thursday and everything, the market's going to go up. And we'll talk about more about that later in the week because that's some really specific stuff I want to cover as well in regards of like selling. I think we now have, it's been a couple weeks now, so we've got the timing down. Um, so depending on what is released on Thursday, there might be some more specific sell times for a lot of cards because a lot of cards are just going down, down, down. And that's honestly where they're going to keep going unless it is a part of the hype league, which right now is Bundesliga. So that's what we're going to focus on this week. This week is all about Bundesliga boys and Super and uh, Liga Nos. I'm pretty pumped for Tellez and for whoever else gets in that team of the season squad that comes out today. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.